I recently purchased the Fraser Price palette box on Jackson's. It is a plain air painting palette and I'm seriously in love. So this is the box. It's a really shiny gold. It is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It measures at about a little bit over four inches long and two and a half inches wide when closed. It opens up into two compartments and this little hatch comes down and the entire thing sits very stable. The reason that I was drawn to this painting palette, aside from the fact that it's gold and I love all things gold, is that it came with three mixing areas, which is a lot for a plain air palette, I feel. So um, it comes with two metal plates on the right side and then a third metal plate on the left. The first plate comes up pretty easily, but I find that this second plate is a little bit harder to open. So right now I'm just using a palette knife. All right, oh, okay. So it opens like that. This, however, is for your thumb, and so if you wanted to hold this while painting, um, it's actually very comfortable. Um, the only downside is I am right-handed, so I'm trying to see. It's a little bit awkward to hold on your left hand, I guess. I guess that's not terrible, but it definitely feels a little bit more comfortable holding it on your right hand like this. So it comes with these plastic containers on the left side. This is a um, water bottle. I measured it earlier and it holds about two ounces of water, which is not bad. And then this opens up and you see that there are two areas for the water to go. So if you wanted to, you know, clean your brush and grab clean water um, with the other side, this is like genius. Um, they're both plastic, so super light. And this area on the right comes with this plastic thing that I... Um, have my wells in. So when I first took it out, it this plastic thing does feel kind of on the flimsy or even cheaper side. Um, usually I'm used to housing my half pans in sort of like a metal palette, but I actually am pretty surprised with the design. So normally my metal paint palettes um, sort of look like this. And um, it usually comes with two um, rows of paints on the top and bottom, and sometimes you can stick paints in the middle. Um, this is fine. I find sometimes that I'm not a fan of this setup because sometimes when I'm mixing um, or I'm grabbing colors, I do feel that the colors really easily bleed into each other. And so, you know, if I have a dark color next to a light color, it sometimes difficult to not like get the colors to mix if I don't want it to. This however has um, a different design. It has these like sort of plastic tabs in between and so from row to row it makes it a little bit more difficult for the paint to sort of touch each other. I mean side to side you you do have to be a little careful because they are touching but from row to row I did find that when I was mixing my pinks and reds up here that the blues and greens on the bottom in this middle row weren't touching this so I really liked that. It feels kind of flimsy, but it's like just enough divider to sort of keep the rows separate. So I would just sort of be mindful of that when you are um, filling the three rows with your half pans. But I'm happy with 18. I feel like that's a really good number um, for this size. And so I was very happy with this um, sort of setup. 
I did, you know, add some masking tape to the bottom just to kind of get it to um, stick without sort of moving around and that did the trick perfectly. Overall, it feels very sturdy and I like that it is um, made out of metal because my plain air easel does have some magnets on my lower tray and so I feel like this would um, stick to that pretty well versus like a plastic palette um, I'd have to add magnets to that to sort to get it to work with my easel but I like that the mixing areas are sort of like indented so it sort of does help the paint to stay a bit contained and again, the thing that drew me the most to this was the fact that there were three mixing areas, um, which I really, really like. I find that a lot of the more portable palettes tend to just house paints um, and they don't have as many mixing options, I feel. Once you fill it with water, I can see this being on the heavier side, but if you're just going to have it sort of like um, placed on your easel, I don't feel like that's going to be a problem. And it is very sturdy. So if it were to drop, I would not be afraid of it breaking. I would be sad if it did get scratched up because it is really pretty. But I don't um, question the integrity of the palette. There are little feet on the bottom and it really does feel really sturdy once you open it up. And I can see myself even using it um, at home with my, on my desk. Um, I did swatch out my, um, I did swatch out my paints and so that fits really nicely like that. And then once you close this hatch, which is pretty sturdy, um, I don't see it opening at all. There's, um, I don't see it opening. And so that is my review of the Jackson's Fraser Price palette box. And I'm super excited to take it out and paint plain air. And I'm sure I'll have more thoughts about it once I take it out and paint with it. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit subscribe, and if you enjoy my content, use the following QR codes to either find me on Patreon or Instagram.